Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run, Acoustic Interpretation, based on a couple of clips of Bruce playing this solo in G, either with a capo at the second fret or no capo. The intro is starts in G and then goes to a suspended second chord, which is just putting the first finger down on the first fret of the second string. So. Go to a C, but leave the third fret of the first string. And then going to a D, you're leaving both the third fret of the first and the um, first fret of the second covered, and coming down on the second fret of the third to give you. So now you've both got the G there and the C there ringing through it as well. So. That's just to try and get a feel from the original, but Bruce is playing it with a fairly tight chugging rhythm just against the bass strings of the G, C and D sort of more. And go for whichever feel you prefer really, I guess. The verse starts with um, two repetitions of the G, C, D Progression from the intro with chugging rhythm. And then comes into a descending C. Come down to the second fret now of the fifth string, but still leaving the um, top of the C intact. So you're still covering the third fret of the first string and the um, first fret of the second. So. And then the open five and fret the uh, fourth string of the second fret. and then across to the D. And that's repeated again, so. And that's really taking the bass pattern from C, a G with a B in the bass, an A minor, and then the D, but you're leaving these strings ringing as well at the same time. And then the verse finishes with a bar of straight C, and then two bars of A minor. So all the way through the verse, with C, D, and then hits the intro pattern. So playing through all of that now is
That really just leaves the bridge or interlude, and that is D minor. Good luck with this one, I hope it makes sense.